So to get started, the first thing I always like to do is my brows, and this brow pencil is by Elliptical, and I actually got it from the dollar store over here in Japan. But yeah, every time I buy like an expensive one, I find that it's like super hard, and I feel like I'm cutting into my skin. But this one actually works. After that, I'm gonna be taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer and Cool Tan, and I'm just gonna cut that brow even more to make it nice and sharp. Then I'm going in with my Black Opal Flawless Perfecting Honey Concealer to even up my eyelid space, as well as create a base for my eyeshadows when I start to apply them. Here I'm taking my Mac Mineralize Skin Finish. In cool in medium tan <laughs> and I'm just gonna go ahead and set my brow bone highlight as well as carry it down into my crease area that way when I start to apply my crease color like I'm doing right now it's gonna be really really easy to blend going into another morphe palette this is their contour palette I'm gonna be taking this brown and I'm just gonna use this to warm up that crease even more So I'm going to be adding some tape to help me get a really clean line when I do my eyeshadow because Rihanna's look was really, really nice and sharp. Here I'm taking the Morphe Gel Liner in Flex. I'm just going to use this as a base. And I'm going to be taking Danger from the Gwen Stefani palette by Urban Decay and I'm going to lay that right on top of that gel liner. I'm also going to be applying that to my lower lash line as well. So when I was satisfied with my shadow, I went ahead and I removed the tape and now it's time for my liner. This is by Kate Tokyo and it is the best black liner that I own. It dries nice and black, not that ashy gray matte look that a lot of liners can give you. Next, I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Too Shy and I'm just going to add this into the center of my lid just for a little extra excitement. With that being said, let's move on to the face. Okay, so let's get this face on and popping because right now, honey, we just looking like... Okay, so I'm going to be using my uh, moisturizing sheets to clean up under my eye because a lot of times when you work with blue eyeshadow, it falls, like it destroys everything. That's why I like to always do my foundation last. I don't like to do my foundation before I do my eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and make this dry on my face, you know, because... I don't want to waste or wipe away all of that good stuff. So I'm just going to make that dry and then we're going to come on back and do the rest. So for my foundation, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. And I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever HD. And I'm going to be mixing two of these. I have one in Kat Von D is in Deep. And the Makeup Forever is in 173. And the reason I'm mixing the two is because I like the coverage of the uh, Kat Von D foundation. But I don't like how thick it is. It's just so thick. So I'm just going to use the makeup forever to you know kind of water it down a little bit because that's just way too big like okay can we can we get it together <laughs> like what is that it's just like <sighs> and then i'm gonna blend all of that out using my beauty blender Okay, so listen, I'm gonna be talking like this until I set my whole entire face, okay? Because I don't like to do a lot of movement up in the mouth area and get them little creases around my mouth, okay? So I'm gonna just keep the mouth really, really straight. I ain't gonna be doing no smiling, no none of that, okay? Because <laughs> y'all think I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm dead serious, okay? So let's get this concealer going and we're gonna go in with, what is it? Pure Beige by LA Girl, okay? And we're gonna place this right up under them eyes. Make up on the day look nice and bright. Yes, honey, I don't do too much talking whenever I do my foundation, okay? I like to keep it all still. I don't want no creases around my mouth. Mm-mm. It ain't happening. Okay, so now that we got our concealer on, you know, I still can't really move yet because I, I have not set this area. Okay, so just work with me. Just work with me. Okay. I'm going to be taking my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in medium tan. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my same damp beauty blender to pick up that color and just really pat it in there. Right underneath my eyes and all the areas that I highlighted. Okay. And I like to bring the height, the, the brightening powder. That's basically what it is because it's much lighter than my complexion. Like my actual complexion, it's a lot lighter. I like to take it and just bring it down here, right above my mouth. And now I can kind of move more because I'm setting that area. 
So yeah, put some on the forehead and we're gonna bring some down the nose. Okay, so to bronze up my face and to contour basically, I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer and I have been loving this fan brush for contouring my face lately. I just have. It just fits my face perfectly, you know? Get under that chin. So next I'm going to be taking my NARS powder. Now, <laughs> of course NARS packaging is not like this, but if you know the NARS loose powder packaging, you know you can't even hold it up like this. So what I did was I kept one of my black opal loose powder thingies from a long time ago. I washed it out and I just transferred the powder in there. But this is my NARS powder in Mountain and I'm going to be using this to set my face, okay? And to further brighten up under my eyes, I'm going to be using t uh, the Anastasia Highlight Setting Powder in Mellow Yellow. I was going to remember the name. And I got two of them because I just love this product. But you don't want to go too heavy with this. You just want to lightly tap your brush in there because you just want a little tint under your eyes. That's all you want this to do, to brighten up under there. And even though you probably can't see that on my camera, trust me, it makes a difference. Especially for brown girls because it's on that yellow side. It's some good stuff. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking my Benefit Sunbeam Highlighter and I'm using my damp beauty blender to place this on the highest part of my cheekbone. I am going to be laying there, layer I am going to be layering this. Okay, so for my highlighter, I'm going to be using the Makeup Addiction Highlighter in the color Snow Gold. And really place this on top of this highlighter. Ooh. <laughs> that might be just a little bit too much, okay? You, you, no. That might, but just a little bit. Okay, so. For my blush, I'm gonna be using Sahara by Sleek, and this is one of my all time favorite blushes. It's just a beautiful, rusty color. Uh, if you're a light skin tone, you can almost use this for a contour, you know, but for us, it just sits nice and rustily on the cheeks. I almost forgot to put a little bit of highlight on the nose. How you gonna forget such a thing? Hmm? Okay, so we're almost there. We're almost there. We are almost there. I'm gonna put on my lashes and they are by Lash XO and these are the Lucky Lola lashes. They are a perfect dupe for the House of Lashes Iconic, but honey, $30, $40, $50 for a pair of lashes? Mm -mm. I ordered a bunch of them and these are the ones that I still have to reuse. So I just have them stacked up in this little case. I got this case from the dollar store. Anyway, enough about that. Let's just put on our lashes. One time I made one time I one time I one time I one time I grew up with a lot of Spaniards. A lot of Cubanos. I love them. Okay, so we have the hair, we have the lashes, right? Time for the mascara. I also feel like I need to touch up my brow right here because I lost some. Okay, so to fix up my brow, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fashion Brow Trio. And I'm going to be using the wax thing, the wax part. Because this is powder, powder, and then wax. And I really like how the wax makes my brows look compared to the powder. And I'm also using the Beauty by JJ brushes from Makeup Addiction. Congratulations to you, baby girl. I think the collection, the, the brushes are a collection of eight. And they're really, really pretty. It's a beautiful thing when we can support one another. 
liner. Okay, so for my lips, I am going to be lining them with the NYX Lip Liner in Hot Cocoa. And for my lipstick, I am going to be using the Lime Crime Gemma lipstick. Now, Rihanna's lips were really, really nice and nude, and they weren't on the shimmery side, but I want to kind of, you know, you know I can't do this 100% like Rihanna, you know, I'll be doing my own thing, you know. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a gloss on top of this and just so you guys know I'm really not a gloss person. I am more of a lipstick matte lipstick girl I don't know. There's just something about glosses. I love them I have quite a few of them, but a lot of times I really don't grab for them I mean think about it. When have you ever seen me use a lip gloss on my channel? When was the last time? Anyways, this one is from the makeup store and the name of it is called Mallow like marshmallow so I'm just gonna add this on top of this just to change it up a little bit yeah it smell oh this smells like something you could eat it smells like toffee candy you know toffee candy like the caramel toffee type hard candies this smells like how that tastes okay so for the hair the hair is looking a little boring <laughs> don't you think so Rihanna had like these little decorations in her hair now I don't have those okay I do not but what I do have is a bracelet now this bracelet has it's one of those stretchy type bracelets and as you can tell like the little pieces they can move so what I did I have a gold one you know I cut the elastic and I took off all of those little pieces and I used some hairpins and just pushed it through the loop that was already in the bead the, the, the thingy now mind you these are actually metal but anyways, I really wanted to, you know, have fun with this look, so I'm gonna go ahead and pin these in place and see what we come up with. Okay guys, so this is the finishing look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and for sticking with me during all of my mishaps and all of that good stuff. I still hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you guys really enjoy me talking to you or you prefer the more professional way for me to just go ahead and voice over my videos, you know. Personally, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am not going to lie to you. I don't do that, okay? Personally, I really love to just turn on the music, do my thing, and then come and voice over. You know, I really like that because it, re you know, the music, it puts me in a good vibe and it puts me in a good mood and, you know, that's what music does anyway. So I really like whenever I'm, I'm filming and stuff like that to, whenever I'm filming and stuff like that to, you know, have my music playing and just go ahead and do my thing and then come back and, you know, while I'm editing, you know, it's a more serious time, you know, to get the videos together, which I still enjoy that as well. But, you know, I just find it a lot easier to do videos like that. Or I should say, I find it more enjoyable for me. But then again, this is about you guys. So let me know what you really, really like. Or better yet, forget about it. I'll just mix it up. Sometimes I'll talk to you, and sometimes I'll just do my thing. All right? Savannah. Let's all take a ride. Savannah.